We're going to be comparing Azure Active Directory domain services, or commonly referred to as ADDS, to Azure Active Directory, or commonly known as AAD. First, we're going to start with some important considerations when you're evaluating AADS or AAD. We'll go into more some depth details with the Azure AD additions. Then we're going to discuss Azure AD join, and finally conclude with self-service password reset. Let's take it. Look at some important considerations when comparing Active Directory domain services versus Azure Active Directory. Understand at its core, Active Directory domain services is purely an identity solution that provides methods for storing directory data and making this data available to network users and also administrators. While Azure AD is a full identity solution for internet-based applications that offers the ability to utilize either HTTP or even HTTPS communication. You can also invite external users who have Azure AD or even a Microsoft account to automatically sign in without further configuration. ADDS allows you to do LDAP queries to pass data between clients and servers and also domain controllers, while Azure Active Directory allows REST API queries through Microsoft Graphs. This allows you to view email, create users and groups, and also browse tons of different properties that are available. ADDS allows Kerberos and NTLM authentication, but Azure AD allows SAML, WS Federation, and also OpenID connection, also OAuth for authorization. ADDS allows federation by using an extension called ADFS that allows claims authentication. Azure AD includes federation services, but also includes the ability to connect to third-party services like Facebook. ADDS has the ability to utilize organizational units or OUs and also group policy objects or GPOs. But in Azure AD, there's really a flat structure for users and groups, so there's no longer an ability to utilize forests. And finally, ADDS is going to require a virtual machine at a minimum, but Azure AD is going to be a managed service inside of Azure that's available to utilize. So there's no longer any concerns about deployment, configuration, virtual machines, patching, or any other physical machine issues. Let's extend our previous conversation about the difference between Azure AD additions. There's still four different types of licenses available. But a lot more features are available in these different versions. Starting with just directory objects, at the free version, you're looking at a maximum of 500,000. Microsoft 365 apps, premium, and P1 and P2 are both unlimited. When you look at single sign-in, every single version does allow unlimited. A core identity and access management, you can see all the features are available across all these additions also. For B2B collaboration, you can see we have the ability to utilize that across all additions also. For our identity and access management, we can see that the free version is going to start falling away, so you need a minimum of the Microsoft 365 apps as your Active Directory version. The premium features start coming in with P1 and P2. Then you also have the ability to utilize hybrid identities with the P1 and also P2. Continuing on, we've got advanced group access management that's also available just with the P1 and P2. Also, we have the ability to utilize conditional access with P1 and P2. Also, closing out, we have identity protection that's only going to be available in the P2 version. Finally, we have identity governance, and it's closing out P2 as the only version that contains identity governance. The Azure AD join feature works with single sign-on to provide access to organizational apps and also resources. It does simplify Windows deployments for work-owned work -owned devices. You've got single sign-on that allows join devices to have single sign-off access to your Azure managed SaaS apps and also services. This means your users no longer have to have extra authentication prompts when they work across different resources. Next, you have enterprise state roaming. Starting, this came out in Windows 10, so your users can synchronize their settings and app settings to data to join devices. This enterprise state roaming reduces the time to configure a new device. You also have access to the Microsoft Store for Business. 
So when your users access Microsoft Store for Business using their Azure AD account, they can choose from an inventory of applications that are going to be pre-selected by your organization. Windows Hello provides your users with secure and convenient access to work resources from joined devices. There's also a restriction of access, so if you want to restrict access to particular apps for only joined devices that meet your compliant needs, you have that available also. And finally, you have seamless access to on-premise resources. So any of these joined devices also have access to anything on-prem. Looking at self-service password reset, or you can call it SSPR. It does require an Azure AD account with global administrator privileges to actually manage SSPR. So this account can always reset their own password no matter what options are also configured. Understand that SSPR is gonna just be a security group to limit the users who have this SSPR privilege. All users in your organizations must have a valid license to actually utilize SSPR. You do want to decide which users in your organization should be enabled to use this feature. So in the Azure portal, there's three different options available for SSPR. You started with none, selected, and then also all. Next, you actually want to consider your authentication methods. Determine how many different authentication methods are required to reset your password. So your system must at least require one authentication method. This could be a strong password, it could be an email notification, text message, or a security code. Then you can actually go in and combine these different methods if you want to have additional security. So if you want to have a user solve answer questions or combine different passwords and security questions, you can use these combination methods also. Thank you for watching this module. Learn with WizLabs. Success. Certified.